Welcome to the Vector Garden YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to build this kind of star map. And this design has some random lines and they are connected. And we have these dots at the centers. And in the end, this is all filled with a gradient. And we're going to build a new file for this. And let's start off with some shapes to get some random distribution just as a start. Of course, you can build this from scratch and just draw the lines and put them exactly where you want them. But maybe you want some help with the random distribution. So we're going to start with some shapes and also we're going to use some polygons, but I'm going to make triangles like so. Build some triangles in here and maybe make this slightly smaller and like so. So this is not exactly random yet and they are all very even uh, in their design. So let's select them all and go to object, transform, transform each. And in there you can make some scaling that is uneven like so. And maybe we want it rather vertical. So Let's make it like this and slightly smaller. You can enter higher values than what you can drag in here. And also, of course, rotation and also some movement in this and, of course, random. And now you can also, you know, you can try some out and check the preview and you see whenever you check the preview, you get another distribution in this. And then when you like it, you can just say, OK, let's let's go for it like so. And again, we can just select some points using the direct selection tool and drag them. And maybe we can also see that we can get this nearer to the desired shapes where, of course, those points meet like so. And then we can get this with already some points that meet in here. And then you can drag some additional lines and let's turn on the smart guides so that we can really get those anchor points and drag them. And when you want to draw on, then you can't just take them here, but you need to start from the side and drag to there like so. And you need to start at an unselected point or you start from somewhere else like so and you see where this is going so of course you can figure this out and get the layout the way you like it to be let's just stop here and the next thing we need is a duplicate of this layer so i'm going to lock this one here make the duplicate and unlock that and let's hide that as well. So now we need to build those points. To do that, you're selecting this and then go to select object direction handles. And now you can just hit delete and you're left with all the anchor points. So these are all the anchor points. And then go to Effect, Convert to Shape, Ellipse, like so. And you can set that to Absolute and set the size that you want. So let's make it 6 by 6 millimeters, which is quite small, but that's OK. And now let's switch Fill and Stroke. And let's go to Object, Expand Appearance. And now we have actual circles, a lot of them. And again, we need to, we need them to be randomly 
sized. So let's go again to transform each. And this time we need this proportional, like so, proportional scale and no movement. They should not move and rotation doesn't make a lot of sense when you deal with circles, but random is again okay and then again you can try out the distribution by hitting the preview button and when you're when you're okay with it then you hit okay like this so let's turn on the lines again and maybe you want the lines to be different weights there are scripts that do that but you can also again select them all and let's go to object transform transform each and this time we are going to set up the scaling and we do not want to transform the object but we want to transform and we want to scale strokes and effects and let's just enter something larger here and you see we get different weights with the strokes and again turn preview on and off and when you like it then it's okay. So we're getting nearer. Now we need to have the gradient in this and to do that of course you can outline all those strokes and then unite all of this and put a gradient in it but maybe you want to have the possibility to to change things then you could also put a gradient on a rectangle in the background and use these as an opacity mask. Or of course, you can also make a copy. So let's do that. Let's, let's make a copy. Let's just select them all and then let's make the copy of this. And then let's go to object path and outline stroke. And then let's go to the pathfinder and unite all of this and then we can apply a gradient in there like so and there's the gradient and let's check out some bright colors for that so let's make a very bright gradient from there to there and there you have your map of the stars with a gradient in it, a lot of random functionality and maybe you have grown a love for transform each because it works great for this kind of design.